What's up, guys? So today I'm going to show you how to dehash uh, hashes on your computer. Now, what you're going to want is you're going to want a password list or a word list. So basically, go to the website weekpass.com and go and download any of these word lists. I, I think any of them work. I don't really care which one. Just make sure you don't go and download this really big one, this like 85 gigabyte board list. Like honestly, you don't need something this big. Uh, anything that's small is perfectly fine. Anything that's tiny is perfectly fine. Anything that's just online is also perfectly fine. So um, go to small. I recommend you download this uh, 10 million password list top 10 million. Then you're gonna download that. You click this uh, download button and then you're gonna get, uh, yeah, so you're gonna get something like this. You download this extract it, put it in your desktop, put it whatever. And uh, I have mine right here and I'm gonna use this in a minute. Okay, so back to Hashcat. So this is how we are gonna use Hashcat. Now, before I'm gonna show you how to use Hashcat, uh, type man Hashcat, and we are gonna look at the attack modes. So Hashcat has a couple of attack modes that you can use. So uh, attack mode zero, straight. What does this mean? Well, essentially what this means is that Hashcat is going to go into that password list you downloaded and it's going to try every single uh, password from that word list against the hash that it's trying to dehash. Uh, a one is a combination. So what a combination is, is basically if you have two word lists, uh, Hashcat is going to try to combine the two word lists together to dehash the password. So it's going to not only use one password, it's going to use two passwords and the two passwords are going to, in combination, try to decode the hash that's being decoded. Uh, now, I'm not going to cover this one because honestly, I mean, you can, you can, it, it's not that really uh, hard to understand once you understand how this one works. Now, the really interesting one is the three. So the brute force. And brute force works in two ways. So you can just have Hashcat set and forget. You just say, okay, brute force this hash, uh, go ahead and do it. And it's gonna try every single combination. Or you can have a brute force with a mask. And a brute force with a mask is when you tell Hashcat, listen, I know exactly which characters and how many characters I used in this hash or in this password. So only use these specific characters when you try to, when you generate your passwords. Uh, six and seven, uh, they're pretty similar. What the, what the attack mode six and attack mode seven do is basically use a word list plus a mask. And in this one, it's a mask, then a word list. Uh, the other thing you would have to know about Hashcat is the hashing types. So uh, Hashcat has a whole, it supports a whole bunch of hashes. So uh, it really depends what kind of hash you're using. So we are going to use in this video MD5 hash because it's the easiest one. It's the most insecure. So definitely I'm going to use MD5. Um, I'm going to use MD5 to show you how this works. But in the real world, you're probably going to uh, see some other ones. Like, for example, I think your let me look this up Unix. OK, so, for example, um, if you're using Linux, uh, you are your password on Linux is probably hashed with a SHA-512. Uh, so if you go to your password shadow file, that's what you would have to do to dehash it. You have to set uh, 1800 as your hash type. OK, so let's actually get started. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of passwords. I'm going to save them into a file called hashes.txt. So I am going to echo out and I'm going to do dash n because uh, if you don't do dash n, it's going to include the new line character and your hash is going to be a lot more complicated than it would really need to be. So yeah, d include dash n because uh, for example, Bob and <clears throat> Bob are not the same thing, right? So as you can see, well, I mean, you may not see it, but there's a new line character here. Uh, with this one, there's no new line characters. So uh, yeah, Hashcat would need to also use new line characters to crack the hash. And if you if it doesn't really get to that point, it, it, basically just do dash n, you, you'll be fine. Okay, so uh, echo dash n, and then we are going to uh, MD5 sum. 
And then we are going to pass it into cut dash uh, D. I'm going to use the space as a delimiter and I am going to take uh, the first field of that. Then I'm going to send that into hashes.txt, cat hashes.txt. And this is our hash. So Bob got turned into uh, this mess here. Okay, we're going to make some more. So make John, we're going to make, uh, let's see, Anna, we're going to make ABC123, let's do ABC, and then a symbol, uh, let's see, we're going to have a password, we're going to have a password123. Okay, so now we have a fair bit of hashes, and now we are going to show you, uh, now I'm going to show you how Hashcat is going to dehash these, ha he's, these hashes. So the first way I was going to show you is I was going to use the word list. So to use a word list to dehash these hashes, you type hashcat, uh, you dash a uh, zero, which specifies the straight attack mode. Straight attack mode, as I said, is a way of hashcat going into a word list, getting all the files from the word list, then trying them against your hash. So dash A, then you do dash M zero. Uh, dash M zero specifies an MD5 hash. If your hash is not an MD5 hash, you would have to set uh, some other number and you find that other number by going into the man page and going down to the hash types. Okay, and then we are going to uh, specify our hashes. Then we are going to specify uh, the word list. The word list is on my desktop, so let's actually look for it there. Okay, so here's the beauty of the word list. As soon as I, say, as I hit enter, I am going to predict that it is going to dehash all of these passwords in a couple of seconds. So let's do it. Okay, I hit enter and we are... Okay, so, so as I said, all of these passwords dehashed in like a second. And the reason for that is because uh, that password list is a is basically a compilation of all of the most common passwords used. So, like out of all of the databases that were um, exposed, all of the basically what happened was security researchers compiled that word list uh, for people to uh, for people to really check to see if users are using a secure password. And as you can see, none of these passwords are secure at all. So basically, this is a word list. Um, this is a wordless attack. Now I'm going to show you how to do a brute force attack on these passwords. Now, before I do that, I'm going to show you where Hashcat saves these passwords, because uh, it could be that when you're using Hashcat, you're not going to have such good luck, right? So maybe a pass is going to take you a couple of weeks to crack. Maybe it's going to take you a couple of hours to crack. And if that happens and there's a lot of output um, on the terminal, you're not going to be able to scroll back up and be like, oh, okay, well, here, here's the password. So basically, Hashcat saves all of the hashes that it cracks in a um, hash pod file. So the hash pod file is located in, uh, let's see, cat.hashcat. So go to dot hashcat and then type hashcat pod file. And here's the file. So here's the thing. If I try to uh, crack these hashes again, a hash cat's going to tell me, well, I already cracked them. I'm not going to do it again. So to really counteract that, I'm just going to delete that hat. I'm going to delete that pod file just so that we can uh, experiment more with uh, the brute force attack. So now I'm going to show you how to do brute forcing. So type hash cat. Then we're going to do dash A3, dash M0. And this specifies a brute force on an MD5 sum or should I say on an MD5 hash. Then we are going to just specify our hash file and nothing else, just hit enter and watch Hashcat go through every single combination. Found ABC. And if you want to check the status of your uh, cracking, so if you want to check the progress, just type S, keep typing S and you'll see uh, how much, how far into the, into the search space that the hashcat is. 
So I'm not going to sit here and wait for Hashcat to crack all these passwords. But as you can see, it's uh, cracking at, let's see, 2000 mega hashes per second. So, I mean, that's pretty fast, but I'm using a, a 1050 Ti and 1050 Ti is, I mean, they're not really fast. Like this is basically uh, the bare minimum that you can even like attempt to do anything like this. Uh, better GPU, faster hashes, basically. So I'm just going to quit this. And I'm going to check what uh, Hashcat got. Let's see, Hashcat, Hashcat, uh, pot. Okay, so basically we got all of these hashes. It didn't get all of them, uh, but that's fine. That's fine because I'm just showing you how to do this. If I left this running for an hour or two, I'm pretty sure all the hashes would be uh, cracked. Now, uh, let's, uh, delete the hash, uh, let's delete the pot file again. So I'm going to remove the pot file. And I am going to show you how to do a mask attack. So a mask attack is basically if you know if you know for sure if you if you're trying to crack a password that you know like let's say you're forgetting a couple of characters in the password, but you know for sure that it's only lowercase or you know for sure it's only uppercase or you know that it begins with a lowercase character or uppercase character or it begins with a numeric character and then ends with a symbol. If you know uh, something like that, if you know some property of that password, you can specify a mask. And this mask acts, uh, it basically acts as a way for Hashcat to, it basically tells Hashcat when you generate uh, new passwords, only try passwords that have this mask. So basically, uh, let's just show what I'm talking about. So type hashcat and then dash a3 again, and then we do dash m0. And now we are going to say hashes.txt. And at the end, I am going to, I am basically going to say, okay, so I know for sure that the only things that hashcat should try are symbols. So we can do uh, question mark s, question mark s, question mark s, question mark s. Uh, so I know that this is, uh, let's see how many this is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a seven uh, character uh, password, and uh, every single one of those characters is a symbol. We hit enter, and now Hashcat is going to generate a whole bunch of passwords, going to generate a whole bunch of candidates, and as you can see here, candidates, all of these are symbols. It's only trying symbols. If I keep hitting refresh, the only passwords it's attempting are symbols, which are seven characters. Uh, so that's basically a mask. Uh, I think that that's pretty much, actually no, I have to show you also how to do a word list plus a mask. So if you want to combine a mask with a word list, so for example, if you have a word list and it's trying, let's say John, but maybe the hash is John123, uh, you, can, you can try something like this. So, uh, type hashcat and then we're going to specify attack type 6 and then we're going to say da dash m0 md5 sum again or md5 hash again and we are going to type hashes this is our hashes and then we are going to specify our word list which is on my desktop I forgot and uh, I am going to specify a mask that hashcat should use in combination with this word list. So I'm going to say, okay, uh, do a D dash D dash D or not D show question mark D question mark D question mark D. And what this is doing is for every, uh, for every word in this word list at the end, I want Hashcat to append uh, three digits because uh, let's say people uh, fancy adding digits at the end. And I know that most people like to pa uh, like to add uh, password and then one two three at the end or something or one two three four five or one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, you can basically go crazy here you can keep adding uh, whatever you want so let's say uh, three digits and then uh, a symbol something like that and we are going to try to crack our hashes using a word list and a mask so if we hit enter uh, let's uh, let's look at our status okay Key space. Okay, so as you can see, uh, our candidates are, let's see, so basically, okay, there we go. So basically, it's trying uh, 
whatever at the or should I say it's trying the word that's in the word list and then at the end it's appending uh, three digits then a symbol let's see key space exhausted okay so basically what happens is if nothing matches in your word list uh, then the status becomes exhausted. But yeah, I, I hope that this has been a good intro to Hashcat. Uh, if you have any more questions, ask me, and maybe I'll post a hash in my uh, comment section to and then like have you guys crack it or something. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.